If there's one thing I don't want to finish, it's this stupid conversation. Why not? Are you afraid that I actually might be right? Are you scared of facing the truth? I'm sure Zoe's fine. It's the hottest summer we've had in years. It'll be good for her to have some fresh air in there. Won't you agree? I... I guess. Fine. Never mind. Why don't you look at yourself, you idiot? So I'm an idiot now, am I? You're... You keep picking on me for nothing. No, this was coming, and you know it, Susan. If you're so unhappy with me, then what the fuck are you still doing here? Pack your bags and leave me alone. You're throwing me out. This is my fucking flat! I worked my fucking ass off for seven years to buy it! I'm not going anywhere! I haven't done anything wrong! Of course not! Because you're fucking perfect, aren't you? That's not what I said. Well, if you're so perfect, yeah? Then why are we here now, fighting? This is all messed up. You're behaving like a five-year-old? What the hell is wrong with you? You, Susan! You always knew which strings to pull. To tip me over the fucking edge! Stop it! Stop it, Susan. I've only just started. We should finally say to each other what we really think, right? We didn't even notice that outside the storm had started. I was so absorbed in that stupid fight that I forgot all about the open window. Anyway, and the flowers. Those fucking flowers. Right there. By her bed. She had some rare allergy to pollen, but we couldn't have known that. How were we supposed to know? It's rare. She started coughing and choking. The next time we saw her, when we found her, she, she was... After two days of what seemed like a narcotic dream, Eric had gone out and never came back again. They found him nearly a week later. He drank himself dead in the woods. I nearly didn't recognize him when I saw him in the morgue. It really was a hot summer. He looked... bad. Miss Ashworth, I... Thank you for telling me that. Now I understand. I understand why you're so sad all the time. <laughs> What do you want from us? Are you deaf? Mitzi, let me handle this. Let's go right now, you moron. Mitzi. Leave her alone. Don't you dare. No! Take me, instead. Take me. friend. I... 
I will. What? What's going on? You're letting me go? Just like that? Where's my friend? What have you done to her? Son of a bitch. What do you want me to do? I don't understand. Stand still, Mitzi. I'm gonna be right back with a knife, and I'll cut you down, all right? were bogging out completely with the uh, psychedelic 
images on the back screen, jeez. I might be able to pause it soon. Doing quite well this actually. Enjoying it, but it's bizarre as anything. going to do it, aren't we? Yes, Mitzi. You will finally get your closure. Maybe I will get mine too. Did you take that map with you? Yes. You can always refer to it if you get lost. I've lived in this building for many years. I won't get lost, Mitzi. But it'd be a good idea to cross people off. Once we're sure it's not them, it might give us a clearer picture of how far we've got. Okay. Good luck, Mrs. A. Mitzi. Are you sure you're feeling up to it? This recent incident, it must have been pretty tough for you. No, I'm good. I never felt better, Mrs. A. in the face. So, what next? Let's look around first. We must check everyone. I'm absolutely sure I of Adam is living in one of these flats. Can you unlock this door for us? Let's see. Limey, you don't see these very often. This is a very special lock. It would take someone much more skilled Joy. than me to open it. Great. I thought you were an expert. I am. But this lock is just... Beyond me, why would anyone need one of these here? They must have something to hide. Is there any other way we can get inside, then? Well, not unless we can find some plastic explosives or a pneumatic grill. Or a key. Yeah, because I'm sure there's a key lying around here somewhere. Well, what can I say, my friend? Let's try to think positive. What's wrong? I... I really don't feel that comfortable around babies, you know? Yeah, I can imagine. I talked to her, but I'm not quite sure how to approach this. I'm hardly an expert on babies myself. If only we had some good reason to talk to this woman. What do you mean? Something like... I don't know. Something to talk about. We can't just knock on a door and talk about the weather. 
Let's go somewhere else then. We can always come back here later. All right. It's just a trip to use, don't worry. I'll just flip this switch and we're back on. Jesse, can we talk to you for a second? Sure, sure, but not right now. I'm right in the middle of something. Would you like to talk to him? Sure. I'll pretend I'm doing one of those customer surveys. Old people usually have time to answer lots of stupid questions. They just want some attention, Mitzi. Hello there, sir. If you could spare us just a few minutes of your time, We'd like to ask some questions about your internet service provider. I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Oh. But we're not trying to sell anything. It's just a little survey. What? Wait a second. I, I can't hear what you're saying, sweetie. Let me get my hair again. You think he'll be back with a shotgun? Don't be silly. This isn't America. Uh, I thought I heard someone. What did you want? Do you own computer connected to the internet? Say again? Right. Okay. Do you... I can't hear you very well, dear. You'll have to speak up. I'm an old man, you know. I'll be 85 this year. Do you live alone? When you're an old man like me, you end up watching all your friends and family die. I'll be 85 this year, <laughs> but I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning all by myself. So, you do live alone then? Look, young lady, I don't need any help. I've told them already. I can manage just fine. I can still cook my dinner, 
And I make my bed every morning, all by myself. And not that it's any of your business, but when I die, I'll die in my own home, in my own bed. I I'm honestly not trying to take that away from you. We're just here to ask about... I will not have anyone washing me, or, or dressing me, or feeding me. I can manage. I've done it all my life, and it'll stay this way. I can still cook my bed, and, and I make my dinner every morning, all by myself. Do you have a computer? There's no need to shout. I've got my hearing aids. I can hear what you're saying. Sorry. A young, pretty lady like yourself wouldn't understand about old age. We live in two different worlds, dear. And if you're here to make fun of me, why won't you just go ahead and be done with it? No, no, with all respect, I... I just wanted to ask if you by any chance own a computer. Pardon? A computer! Wait a second, dear. I think I need to change the batteries in my hearing aid. I must have forgotten to switch them off last night. I'll be right back. No, wait! Jesus. I don't think I've got enough patience for this, Mrs. A. To be honest, the chances that he's our guy are pretty slim. I think we should go. Yeah, this is pointless. Even if he did have a computer, he probably wouldn't even remember how to switch it on. Let's say goodbye quickly and try to look elsewhere. Can I help you? <laughs> Not really. We were just going. What? I don't want to buy this in. I told you before. I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. I didn't mean to pry. Please accept my apology. No, no, no. It's, it's me who should be sorry. I haven't even offered you ladies a cup of tea. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Mary always liked her tea milky. She put the tea bag in the milk in first, and, and then finally she'd add hot water. I kept telling her it's the wrong way, but she never listened. She was always so stubborn, my Mary. I miss her every day. I'm sorry for your loss. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. We'll go now. I'll see you later, ladies. Next time I'll do the talking, yeah? <laughs> He's tough. Wouldn't answer a single question. But he can't possibly be an internet whiz. Yep, he's just a lonely old man. Let's cross him off the list. Right, let's see if I can save this here. Yep, I can. Okay, I'm back. Let's just double check what I've got here. Should be crossed off, yep. Okay. So. Uh, trying to think what I need. Where am I? Oh. Okay. Let's try flat two.
so if there's nobody here, does that mean that we can go in here? Would you like to try your famous lock picking skills on this lock here? Let's see. A young child could open this lock with a piece of wire. That's fantastic. Have you done it yet? No. I can't work when you're looking over my shoulder. Do you mind? No, sure. I'll just walk away for a minute and stare at the wall if that's what it takes to get this done. Thanks. Clearly this place is empty. I reckon we can cross it off the list. Okay, that's that one solved. This is A. What does depression feel like? Well, it feels like all I want is to die, but I have to live. Most of the time I feel like I want to live. I have to die. Where have I been? I'm checking the map. Uh, flat two is the dog. Uh, flat three has got people in it, I think. Uh, flat six is that yelling guy. Flat seven and flat eight. Well, let's go downstairs to the basement. I haven't been there yet. Basement, ground floor, whatever you call it. It's like a basement, doesn't it? Hello. You live on the first floor, am I right? Yes, that's correct. Flat two. And you're Susan Ashworth, I presume. I've been meaning to talk to you, actually. Really? Is something wrong? Well, it's those cats. I understand you're trying to do a good thing, but it's become unbearable lately. This can't be sanitary for people living here. And I'm sure it's not allowed by the council either. Are the cats bothering you? Yes, they are, actually. They usually stay outside anyway. I bet you hardly ever see them. I see them all the time, actually. Ever since the Morrisons from Flat One moved out last month, your cats seem to reside permanently on my floor. And that sofa, my god. They're always gathered round it like it's their shrine. It was Morrison's responsibility to dispose of it, but they just left it there. And a whole load of other rubbish, too. Okay, that's not my fault, really, is it? But you encourage cats to come here. You feed them. Everyone knows that. 
Every time I take William for a walk, he gets upset and tries to chase them away. Look, they're not my cats. You're Susan Ashworth, the cat lady. We all know what you do. Everyone's sick of those cats, and I am too. Brian said he will get in touch with animal control if things don't improve. He already did. Really? Well, I certainly don't see any improvement on first floor. It's still completely overrun by these filthy creatures. He'll have to talk to them again. I hear they've run out of business recently. Then he'll have to find another one. This is just not good enough. Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? I didn't say they sleep. Have you not listened to me? I'm beginning to wonder if they ever sleep, actually. They just keep climbing up and down the wretched thing. They're noisy. They leave germs all over the place. They've scratched upholstery and the paintwork. And William keeps chasing them. He's so quick, I can't help him most of the time. What if he runs off and gets lost? I'm telling you, we've never had such problems before you decided to bring here these homeless devils. Who's William? William is my dog, of course. He's 12 years old, you know. He shouldn't be running after cats at his age. I have to go now. See you later. Am I not in the basement? Where am I? Oh, I'm by the mailbox. Maybe one day you will forgive flowers, Mrs. A. Maybe. Or maybe not. Let's have a sniff. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push it. Don't worry, Mrs. A. Could have happened to anyone. I'll clean it in a minute. But please, be more careful in the future, yes? You be more careful, nosy old witch. Do you think you can unlock this mailbox? Sure, but not with that woman over there looking at us over her shoulder. She's always been a nosy old cow. 